What's going on guys? Mike back again. Part 2 of Gangplank Guide for League of Legends. Uh, sorry about the little break I took. It was busy with school and stuff. But uh, let's get back into it. Right here I throw out my cannon barrage so Poppy couldn't retreat back. Um, and Jax jumped in there and got the kill. Well done Jax. But for this video I wanted to go and talk about a little more about the game. And what the game has to offer and how it differs than Dota. First off... Uh, we're going to discuss the room pages. Now, um, each player gets two room pages. And every time you level, you unlock a new rune. And what these runes do is you can buy tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 runes. Each uh, tier of runes increase in influence points, respectively. Um, so tier 3 runes are going to be much more expensive, but they're also going to be a lot better Excuse me, that was my phone. than tier 1 runes. So... Your goal is to fill up your runes with tier 3. Now, me personally, I didn't buy runes until I got the summoner rank 20, when you are actually able to buy tier 3 runes. And you can't buy tier 2 runes until level 10, and tier 1 runes you can buy at the beginning of the game. So, I haven't had any runes at this point, and going up against people who are summoner level 30, which is the highest level, who are full rune paged, it's kind of a little disadvantage I have. So, some games I'll get in there and I'll just get shredded because people have all their runes and increased stuff. And it will increase their stats. And what the stats, the stats that the runes increase, excuse me, um, range from cooldown reduction, uh, mana regen, health regen, health, mana, uh, critical strike, like your crit percent, or your crit damage. So, um, so yeah, runes, they make it so you can customize your champion or champions, whichever you want, however you want, so they're not, so they're different than every other champion in the game. And right here we tried to kill Twitch, but weren't able to close it. My parlay did nasty damage, if you could see, um, but we just couldn't seal the deal. So, um, so those are rune pages, and runes, they cost influence points, and you get influence points every time you win or lose a game. Uh, if you win, you'll get more, if you lose, you'll get less. And, ooh, nice little team fight right here, but I don't think we did well. I threw out my cannon barrage, but uh, it didn't, didn't do good. Eve, I don't know where Eve was going on and why she went all the way back. But, um, uh, but yeah, so you get influence points and experience points. And the tier 3 runes, they range from, I believe, 410 to, like, 810. Um, someone can correct me if I was wrong, but I believe it's somewhere in between there. And, uh, yeah, so your goal is to fill up your room pages to make it the best, make your champion the best it can be. Um, what I do now when I play Gangplank, my room pages are filled with, uh, crit damage. So, since the build I go with my three Avarice Blades, um, it brings my crit percent, I usually don't go below 89% crit, so just about every hit is going to be a crit. And, which is just great because I mean you use your parlay it crits for like 1.5k um, if obviously if you have your uh, what is it called infinity edge but um, it crits up there all the time so every time you use it you're guaranteed a crit for it which is really nice um, so I use crit damage now and I'll tell you level rank level one when I use my first parlay skill I'm hitting for like 190 sometimes close to 200 uh, on a crit, and at level 1, that's almost half uh, the champion's health. Uh, right here we take on Mord, which was uh, really nice, really nice. So yeah, so ruins, they make a real big difference. So, um, if you don't want to wait till uh, rank 20 of summer level, then I suggest getting your tier 1, and then when you get to 10, get your tier 2, because you'll always have enough influence points. If you don't have enough, you can play a game, and one game could net you 300 influence points. I know during the uh, double XP weekend, double influence point weekend, you get upwards of like 500 to like 800 influence points. So it should never be a problem. And you don't have to worry about buying the wrong rune because if you buy the wrong rune, um, it like you'll have that rune forever. Like you can't trade it in, yeah, but it's not like once you use a rune, you can't use it again. You could always remove the rune from the socket and just put it back into your inventory and you'll have it. So once you buy your runes, you'll have them, which is great. So, each summoner has two pages, and you can fill them up however you want. 
So th those are about the runes. Get them as fast as you can, in my opinion. Or if you want to wait, uh, go for it like I did. But definitely rune your champion up right when you hit 20 if you have the points. It's, it's going to be worth it, trust me. Alright, so that was the rune pages. And the last big thing about this game, or second to last, um, is going to be the mastery tree. Now, it's kind of like World of Warcraft or any MMO in a sense. Uh, your talent trees. Um, each summoner has offense, defense, and utility. Um, they obviously speak for themselves. Offense is all about your physical damage. Defense is all about uh, your tanking. And utility is about um, like your escape spells or like your heal spells, stuff like that. Um, and every time you level, you get a talent point or a mastery point. Uh, whatever you would like to call it. So, ooh, nice team fight right here. I'm going to be doing this in and out of this commentary, just when there's a nice team fight going on, I'm going to talk about it. But here was a good team fight. I threw my, my cannon barrage, and I thought we, we had it, but for some reason my team dispersed, and we just got jumped again. So, well done, team. You guys are great. Um, just a quick side note. If you're playing this game without any friends, just <laughs> good luck. Because the community is... I don't mean any offense to anyone out there, unless you're part of this... But the community is pretty garbage. Um, I see people running in one on three and just getting slaughtered. And then they, th and they think they have the upper hand. And then they rage quit because they're like, oh my god, my team's doing nothing when they run one on three. But whatever. So um, back to the masteries. Um, those, are, those are the three trees you have. Offense, defense, and utility. And for gangplank, go offense tree. It's not worth going into defense. Um, Gangplank is, I don't want to say an initiator because he's not, he's more of a ranged support. Um, you don't really attack with your sword as much, but you stay back, you throw up your heals, use your raise morales on creeps to get that final kill, and you run like this, run, jump him, get him with the parlay, game over. Right there, that was a little flash parlay action for you, yeah, that's how you chase someone down, and then I think my team ends up dying because they're all bad. But, um... So that's what you do, um, just chase people down, but uh, definitely go full offense on your mastery trees, it'll be worth it, go all the way down to your 21 point uh, talent which increases physical and magic damage by 5% I think, and you'll be set. And um, if you want, leave a message in the comment or send me a PM of how I built my skill tree and I'll let you know, but you should know how to build it just by looking at um, at the skills themselves. You want to get everything that relates to damage. Um, you don't want the stuff that was going to increase minion damage because that's kind of pointless because parlay already deals enough damage and like an extra six damage to minions isn't going to do much. So you'll know what to get when you see them. So um, if you're still having trouble just send me a message, leave a comment and I'll let you know what to do. Uh, right here we're jumping on Mord. Mord is really annoying. Especially this was the first time when he came out um, he's just, that shield is annoying as hell, but I believe we take him down here. Yeah, me and uh, Jackson and I take him down, which is good, but he's really annoying. In my opinion, I think his ult is a little OP. Um, he just tosses it on you, and it's just healing him and taking you down to death. And his shields are a little retarded. Uh, right here we have a nice little team fight. Pop my cannon barrage, get a kill on Poppy, which was great. And we're pushing top tower, I think, and if not... My team's dumb because a lot of them are down. But uh, anyway, um, that's what you want to do for your talents. So now, um, the last thing about this game that I just want to talk into before the end of part two. Uh, oh, what happened here? My game froze. There we go. Um, before the end of part two, I want to get into the store. The store is where you buy your champions which are going to cost you influence points. You buy your skins for them, you buy your runes, you can buy your increased experience and influence points uh, boosts. And um, that's pretty much where you do everything. That's where, that's where you're going to buy everything at. And you need to buy your champions before you play them unless they're included in the free champion week. But um, that's pretty much going to be it for part two. Um, again, I know there wasn't a lot of talk about the gameplay, but don't worry, because part three, and if there's a part four, definitely it's going to be all about the gameplay. I'm going to tell you what's going on, how my build rounds out, and 
and you'll see if we win or not. A little hint, if you could see how these last couple team fights have been going, you'll know how this ends. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three. Later.